Hello friends, this video on our environment part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, I will reach towards the end of this lesson on our environment. So let us look at some of the questions. So let's see if you can answer them and how well you understood the lesson. Choose the right one. Which of the following groups contain only biodegradable items? Grass, flowers, leather. So do you think they are all biodegradable? First of all, let me quickly review. What is biodegradable? Bio means life. Degradable means which can be decomposed. So those things which can be decomposed by some living organisms. So grass, flowers, leather. Do you think leather is biodegradable? No, it is not. The next is grass, wood, plastic. Plastic is again not biodegradable. So this is also not, not right option. Third one, fruit peels, cake, lime juice. So here we have all of them as biodegradable. The last one, cake, wood and grass. So here also we have all of them biodegradable. So we can say that C and D are both biodegradable materials. Which of the following constitute a food chain? What is a food chain? It will actually, it is a series of living organisms which tells us which an, uh, organism eats which organism. So here, grass, wheat, mango. So a food chain is something which will actually tell that this organism should eat this organism and this organism should eat this organism. So is that true here? Do you think that wheat eats grass? No, right? Next is grass, goat, human. So do you think goat eats grass? Yes, it does. Do you think humans eat goat? Well, not all of them, but yeah, some humans, the non-vegetarian swan, they do eat goat. So that means this is a food chain. The third one, cow, goat, cow, elephant. So the first part is correct because cow, okay, no first part, it's goat, it starts with goat. I'm sorry, I thought it was grass. So do you think cow eats goat? No, right, cow is an herbivorous animal. So this is also not a food chain. The other one is grass, fish and goat. So here again, the fish is not going to eat grass, right? So here, B is the correct option. Which of the following are environment friendly practices? What do we mean by environment friendly? Something which will cause less harm to the environment. Carrying cloth bags to put purchases in while shopping. Now, when you go shopping, however, it is these days it is advised that the shopkeepers should not give you plastic bags. However, still some of them do give. So, if instead of that, you start carrying a cloth bag, that means a bag made up of a cloth or a paper bag with you. Isn't that more nice and isn't that more environment friendly practice? Yes, of course it is because cloth is biodegradable, whereas plastic is not. Next is switching off unnecessary lights and fans. So what are we actually doing by switching off the unnecessary lights and fans? We are actually saving energy. We are actually stopping unnecessary usage of energy. So we are doing this for the better of our environment. So this is also an environment friendly practice. Walk into school instead of getting your mother to drop you on her scooter. So when you ask your mother to drop you on scooter, so the scooter again needs a some amount of fuel right so when you go walking you are actually saving that amount of fuel so you are actually saving some energy resources so that is again environment friendly so the last option is all of the above so definitely here all of the above are correct because all of them are environment friendly practices because they are all done for the betterment of the environment let us now think over some of the questions here what will happen if we kill all the organisms in one trophic level? So I'm sure you all remember what is a trophic level. When I was talking about food chain, I told you that each step in a food chain is referred as a trophic level. Let us take this example of food chain. 
we see here grass. So the plants are eaten by the goat and the goat in turn is eaten by the lion. So each of them, so this plants, this is the goat and this is the lion. So plant is trophic level, one trophic level, goat is another trophic level, lion is another trophic level. So now the question says, if we kill all the organisms in one trophic level. So let us suppose if all animals in one trophic level, say if all the goats are killed, what do you think will happen? If all the goats are killed, so in this particular food chain, there is nobody to eat the plants. So what will happen? So the population of the plant will keep increasing because there is nobody to eat the plants, nobody to consume the plants. And one more thing that will happen is that what will the lion eat? The lion doesn't eat plants. So the lion is dependent on goat for its food. But now there is no goat. So what will happen to the lions? The lions will start serving. I mean the lions will start starving. And as a result the lions will start dying. So even the population of the lion will become zero. So the lions will also become extinct. Right. So what's going to happen here? The population of the organisms in the previous level would increase. So here those animals are plants because the plants were being eaten by the goats. So the plants population would increase and the organisms in the successive level. So here that organism is lion. So they would start starving and eventually they will die. So it is very important that the population of organisms in each trophic level is maintained. They should neither be very less nor they should be very high. Let us look at the next question. Will the impact of removing all the organisms in a trophic level be different for different trophic levels? Can the organisms of any trophic level be removed without causing any damage to the ecosystem? So I'm sure that after uh, going through the previous question, this question is completely clear to you. Yes, of course, the ecosystem will be damaged because all the food chains together is a part of the ecosystem. So once one food chain is affected, that means the ecosystem is also getting affected. Right now, what will be the impact of removing all organisms in one trophic level? So is this in fact going to be different for different trophic levels? Yes, of course, because for the trophic level, which is below that particular trophic level, that is the, for example, in our previous question, as I said, if I take this example, let us suppose this is trophic level one, which is eaten up by trophic level two, which in turn is eaten up by trophic level three. So if I remove all animals in trophic level two, so the effect of removal of this level two will be different for level one and level three, because for level one, what will happen? This is the previous level, right? So for level one, their population will increase because there is nobody, nobody to eat them. For example, if these are the plants and if this is goat and if this is lion, right? Whereas what will be the consequence in level three? Level three's population will also start decreasing because they have nothing to eat. So they will starve and eventually they will die. So the impact is different on different top trophic levels. Now the next part is, can the organisms be removed without causing any damage to the ecosystem? Now all organisms at each trophic level along with the non-living components form the ecosystem. So removal of a trophic level would definitely damage the ecosystem. That's what I told just now, right? Because what is ecosystem? All living organisms plus all non-living things is equal to ecosystem. Now, if you are removing one trophic level, that means we are actually disturbing the food chain. That means the food wave is, will also get disturbed. That means the biotic components will get disturbed. So the ecosystem will also get disturbed. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.